you've never heard this before. You've never heard this before. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Um, come, come right back. I'm gonna be looking for you, Jr. All right. So God said that He was gonna send the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans back into slavery on slave ships. He called us Israel in the Bible, but the so-called white man had just put that uh that that byword on us. Black people. He put that byword on us. Hey, my sister, right there, you got a minute? All right, continue reading, continue reading that. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. God said just the way Moses said it would happen to y'all, it happened. It happened just that way. He sent us back into slavery on slave ships. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said we'll never see our homeland again. We're still in the land of our captivity. We're still in um in the land where we pick cotton, where we pick sugar cane, where we pick tobacco. We're still here. Right. So those uh so-called uh, uh, white people that's in the land of Israel today that occupy Israel, that's why they call themselves Israelis, they occupy the land, are not the children of Israel. Read. And there, and there, he said, and there, when you get off of those slave ships, read. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. God said we'll be sold unto our enemies. When we get off of those slave ships, he said that we will be sold unto our enemies. Read. For bondmen and bondwomen. For bondmen and bondwomen. Hey, my brother, you got a minute? Come and get a fly. Come and get a fly. Hey, sis, come on, man. Don't, don't run. Don't run from us. Come and still deal with me. You got your food now. See, but see, if the pastor uh, came over here and told you to stop, you would stop, right? Because you look at him as a man of God. See, and, you, and watch this. Can I show you something? Because you already know that's wrong, right? That's why you don't want to see it. Where's that at in the Bible, sis? Where's that out in the Bible? I, I, I don't believe in that. Okay, I you don't believe in that, right? I in public every day. You, you don't believe that, right? So I got. I want to ask you, where is that in the Bible? Give me a script. Give me a script. Every day. Give me a script. Every day. Give me a script. Exactly. She has no scripture to back that up. You like that white man's lie. The white man lies. Read. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. God said uh, his flock and his pastures are men. That's why the woman pastor got her confused. The woman pastor got her confused. Nothing but lie. God said he has one people, which are the Israelites, which are you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, and verse 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches. The Bible just said, let your women keep silent in churches. She says she has a woman pastor. The Bible says they got to keep silent in church. They can't, they're not a, permitted to teach at all. Read. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. So when it says they're not committed to speak, that means to teach. They're not committed to teach. They can't teach in the church. That's why people confuse. Watch this. Let me get um, Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Because she said a woman, a, a pastor is a woman. Then she said that she believes she has that good, uh, uh, fuzzy feeling inside of her that God loves everybody. God does not love everybody. That's according to the Bible. All, all people are not his people. That's according to the Bible, right? Read. This is the this is the book of Joel. Chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am the in the midst of Israel. God said he's 
in the midst of Israel. That's where he at. He didn't say in the midst of the world. He didn't say in the midst of, of black people and white people. He did not say in the midst of, you know, uh, 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 Africans or Asians. He said he's in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. He said, He is the Lord your God, Israel. Your is a possessive term. Right. It's possessive. That don't mean it's for everybody. Because when you have shoes on your feet, those are your shoes. Right. When you have clothes on your back, those are your clothes. Right. They're not clothes for everybody. Right. He said that I am your God. Read. And none else. And none else. Else. Nobody else is Hosea 4 and 6. Nobody else. He does not deal with everybody. That's right. In the midst of Israel, and he's the Lord your God, and no one else's. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God said you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You Israelites are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because now the black people think that God is for everybody. That he loves, he loves everybody. That's why we're destroyed right now. Mentally. That's why she thought that she can have a uh, female pastor. Right. But that goes contradicting contradictory to the Bible. Right. It goes against the Bible. He said, she said that God loves everybody. I just showed you that God, God is only the God of Israel and none else. Nobody else's. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. God says she reject knowledge, he's going to reject her. Um, Jeremiah 4 and 22. Come on, right? Huh? He's, he, he's going to reject her. She's rejecting his knowledge. She just wants to talk, just like most women want to do, just talk and run off at the mouth instead of actually listening and getting the understanding of this Bible from learned men. Bring it Not up. women, but learn men. The Bible said learn from men. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. God said his people are foolish. Because now we want everybody. We want this great milter pot, this uh this this dream, so-called dream, that um that America has sold us. The reason why he called it, they call it a dream, because you gotta be asleep. You gotta be asleep to believe it. And I'm broke. I am woke. I, I do not take I do not take this uh this as a dream. I don't want the American dream. I want the Israelite dream. Well we take the whole world back. You see what I'm saying? Read. They have not known me. They are Scottish Scottish children. God said you don't know him. You don't know him according to the Bible. Right. God said you are Scottish children. Scottish means stupid. God said you are stupid children. But you can you can record, it's okay. You don't have to do it in secret. Because I'ma tell anybody this that walks up. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. Because this is the truth. God told us that we gotta speak this truth throughout the earth. And God said his people have not known him. Because now his people think that they can have a female pastor. His people now think that their, uh, the women of his people now think that they can wear pants. Now his people think that they can eat pork and shrimp and lobster, right? Uh, celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving. God said you can't do those things. You don't know God according to this Bible. He said y'all are sadists. Y'all are stupid. Y'all don't know him. Breathe. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. God said you have no knowledge to do uh, good. Let me get Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 13. 
He said, you don't have the understanding to do good. You are wise to do evil. You said evil for good and good for evil. That's what we do. As a nation of people, that's what we do. We have no understanding of God in this land. Even on the dollar bill and on the coins, it says trust and we trust in God. But there's no God in this land. Because if it was God in this land, they would they would tell us exactly who we are. They won't hide, they won't hide it. Bring it up. They won't frame uh, mischief by our law, right? There is no God in this land. None. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. God said the reason why y'all have gone to captivity, where y'all went on the slave ships, where y'all are still in the land of your captivity to this day, is because you have no knowledge. You have no understanding of this Bible. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.